Whether or not a high school senior goes to college can depend on if he or she can get financial aid. But an error in Washington by the Education Department is delaying that process. Students don't know if they're getting money with graduation just weeks away. Listening to local students tonight, 7 News reporter Sean Brenda. These seniors are set to graduate Colton Pierpont Central this June. They want to go to college and they're trying to get financial aid by filling out the free application for federal student aid or FAFSA. An error in Washington is holding up these students from making decisions. I still haven't gotten my FAFSA back and I also haven't gotten my application back. So it just makes me really stressed about like my future and like how much it's going to cost me and where I'm actually going to end up going. So it's just adding to my stress level already from being a high school student. Last Friday, the U.S. Department of Education said there was a calculation error on as many as 200,000 applications. The delay has guidance counselor Heather Roussel feeling frustrated. Many of our families need a lot of support with completing the FAFSA, so having to work with them um, with their struggles I mean, I, I'm happy to do it, but it's just taken a lot more um, time on their end to, uh, and frustration on their end to get it done. Gabrielle Saucier hopes to go to SUNY Plattsburgh, but with the errors and delays, she says her future is up in the air. If I don't get financial aid, I don't know if college will be something I can do, even though it's something that I am like dreaming of doing. But if I don't get financial aid, then there's no way I could go to college. The U.S. Department of Education has extended the deadline to apply to financial aid to June 30th. But for high school seniors, that timeline may not work because they need to make a decision sooner than that on whether or not they'll go to college in the fall. Sean Brenda, 7 News.